Hey there, everybody, Fat here, and welcome back to Fat Plays Rim World Anomaly, aka, uh, freaking, uh, oh, yeah, we get fire school again. Freaking Cassie Classy is extremely mad all the time at everything edition. Uh, it is midnight. We got a little, little, little infestation over here. It's actually, it's actually kind of cute. Honestly, if the infestation would at least one time, like, spawn over here or something. Somewhere where I feel like I could leave it alone relatively reliably. I totally would. Anyway, I'm going to leave this one alone until size healed up. That's kind of what I'm thinking right now. We have uh, four Gore Hulks. Which means... Who's digging where? Oh, wait, you know what? I set up some orders to uh, embiggen this place, huh? I sure did. Uh, and I, it got embiggened already, which is great. So, you guys, were you digging up something over here? Were you opening something? Is that what was going on? You know, I should also... Uh, speaking of embiggening things, I should embiggen this area over here. In fact, you know what? I could embiggen our whole colony a little bit if I put the slate wall here instead. Dig this out. Let, me let the animals fart around over here. Take this out and then build a second slate wall above it. Oh, yeah, it's you guys digging. Okay. That's kind of what I thought, but I wasn't 100% sure. Chillings, what is wrong with you, dude? Recreation starved. Well, go fix that. Go recreate a little bit. That's all I'm saying. And then we can take these down. The animals can come over here. Uh, can I get someone to finish this? Like, Bale, you're just closer. Thanks. Okay. Expand the home area to include all of this right here. -ia. And then we'll put in an order uh, to go ahead and smooth out the stone. It'll look great. Probably. Oh, it'll look great. Probably. Yeah, we won't uh we won't worry about running over here and repairing this side. Just just the side that we're on. But it'll be great. Uh, is it now 9 a.m.? Waking up in the morning. Alright. Gotta get dressed, gotta go downstairs, gotta take out some bugs. Thank you for not going down this one little path here, Fran. Okay, that would have been a problem. Hey, we got that revenant invisibility now. Neat. Okay, move up a bit. Psy, Bale, Glitch. You three first. I guess I should actually keep everyone, like, close by. Okay. Bale, I need you to start with a little bit of this. Hi there! Okay, now get back. Okay. And then let her rip! Alright, don't fire at will anymore. Psy, get this one. Glitch, get this one. Okay, before it gets to us, please. Yeah, you could fall back. Oh, that one took so much hits. Right here. Beautiful. A perfect firestorm. Thankfully, we do have Fran over here with a little bit of melee capability. Okay. That's all of them? I think it is. Good. Everyone's free to move about the country. Glitch and Psy, of course, will immediately say, Oh, hey, there's hives over here. I'm going to go ahead and beat these up. If I could save them by having these two stick in the home area, but honestly, it's... I don't care. Okay, thanks to the free insect jelly. Beautiful, getting this work done, too. Love it. All right, let's... Let's go ahead and expand the roof area over here, too. Just to let them live their lives in relative peace. Hand Talon is done. That is for Fran. It is a Fran Talon. On the left-hand side. I mean, we could get sniped to just do an unnatural healing, but honestly, what's... What's wrong with a little bit of improvement? You know? Nothing. That's what's wrong with it. Absolutely nothing. Alright, good stuff. And then we could uh, put the beds over there. You know? Just let them all hide in the corner. Who cares? I, I care. That's why I'm doing it, actually. I do it because I care. You know, if I didn't care, I wouldn't do it. Making these lads live a slightly better life over here, you know? There we go. 
And we probably don't have enough beds for everyone, but I'm going to fix that by uh, not building plain leather beds. We have no plain leather. How did this happen? Oh, I know, because I overhunted and I uh, sold it all. Let's oof some hares, some guinea pigs, um, some tortoises and turkeys, some ibex. None of that gets us plain leather. What do we have the most of when it comes to leather? Blue fur. I, that makes sense. I don't want to make blue fur beds, though. Uh, light leather. It's practically the same thing, as far as I'm concerned. Okay, slap some of that down. Slap down some uh, additional beds. Move the egg boxes over here. Maybe add a couple more. It'll be great! Now you know what? Don't build a bed right here. All right. I mean, there's already room for all of our animals. But now I'll have room for more if I need it. Fran can walk again. Uh, how did you put the talon in the hand but not fix the finger or the thumb? I thought this replaced the hand. Install site hand. Replace his finger! You only replaced one of the fingers. Does that mean I can put five hand talons in there? No. I'm willing to bet. So, what the heck? Rimworld, what are you doing? Alright, I guess I'm gonna do the unnatural healing, too. Whatever. It is what it is. What is all this? Gorehulk blood. It's gross. Hey, Slicer. How's it going? Probably not great, huh? We're right, I guess. You know, we should probably move this tox pack. Wild concept here. But, uh, it's not good to have there. You know what? Let's... Can I just put it in here? Yes, I can. We'll just ship it off. You know, someone will like it, probably. Ship it off along with, uh, like, 171 muffalo wool. And... I don't know what else. Oh, these crap weapons. Garbage. Setting out with all that garbage. Nobody wants that garbage. Here's, here's some more garbage, okay? Yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Pack all that in. Do, 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 do. Thank you, Cavities. You are getting it done. And now we have room for more stuff. And we're moving the stuff because we're out of the stuff. But that's okay because we can make kibble from stuff. Which, which Is this the one that uses the insect meat? Yes. Unsuspend this one. Use all the insect meat, please. Okay. That's important, let's say. More harbinger trees. Beautiful. There you go. Two more. I love it. I love it a lot. Should we get rid of the rats? We probably should. Okay. Transport pod. Oh, no, no. I don't, I don't need to load it more. I need to launch it. Launch over to the Red Hill Union. Here you go, lads. Okay, up to 59%. Oh, yeah, that's right. We lost a lot of percentage because uh, their cats got hurt. I remember that. That was a whoopsie. Yeah, it's missing a leg, but it's fine. Hey, are we going to get more cats before they... I mean, this shuttle is going to take nine days. We will probably get more cats, and we can keep those cats. You know, they don't want more cats. If anything, they probably want less cats. Okay, so we did chronophagy recently, and uh, Bree went down to... 38 years old and Slicer went up to 39. It was uh, great. What else can we do to this person? Suck out their skill? Hmm. Does it say what their best skill is? It does not. But I could go here and find out what their best skill is. It's medical. So Bree could steal their medical skill. Bree does not need medical. But you know what? Bree's not the only one who can actually do the stuff. So what if we had... Who's our, like... Who else can do medical at a decent... No one? It is literally just Vastilla? Who does medical? Ugh. Alright. Uh, okay. Still 29%. So let's say we have Vastilla do it. 35%. 45%. If I had Bree be the main one instead, it would be half of the experience in their best skill 
it's not actually that big of a difference in numbers. Uh, do it. Steal the medical skill. Bring the prisoner, please. Okay, here we go. Ya -da -dee, ya -da -da. You are probably not gonna be very happy. We're at a guess. Hey, uh, Slicer's ex. Oh, her ex husband is here. Uh, don't. Don't tell Haynes what we're doing. Okay, you probably won't get here in time to see. Yeah, yeah just, he's not even in the door yet. He's almost in the door. He's still not in the door. Oh, he's going around. Good. It buys us time. Done. Beautiful. Okay. Slays are lost down from level 7 to level 5, whereas Vastilla's medical went from 9 to 10. Which isn't huge, but it's good to get it kind of for free. And then finally, there's Psychophagy. So if we had Bree do it. 65 days. Holy. Whoa. That's over a year. Okay. That's pretty sick. Uh, did you just eat insect meat? I mean, I guess you're fine if you eat it. You're, you're fine with it. Right? So, yeah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, these eggs are... Oh, no, this one's fine. I thought the eggs were dead. They are not dead. Cool. Bale, you're looking sick. Over here. Not like ill, but like nice parkas, what I'm trying to say. Do Are we making parkas? We are not making parkas. We should make parkas. Not burkas. Parkas. Slightly different. Parkas. Do until we have... Uh, let's do five. Five seems to be a good number for things. Okay. Okay, I'm probably going to want another room for clothing. Mysterious cargo. I mean, we already saw this. Ooh, a psychic emanator, though. Ooh. Ooh. Do it. Here it comes. Let's see who it is today. Oh, it's a cube. Golden cube. A cube that fits snugly in the hand. Golden in color. It's always invitingly warm to the touch, like a trusted pet or a hug from a good friend. Those that closely look or they look closely, are rewarded for their attention by the delightful way the light plays across its welcoming surface. It seems impervious to most damage. Study it, I guess? Yeah, okay, cool. Pleasure pulse. Oh, boy. Giggity. Caffeus feels it inexplicably drawn to the cube. Well, I guess I'm not surprised someone is. Okay. Crown of Age of Guilt. Feels wrong to have participated in that ritual. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize it came with that. Well, that's cube interest. Curious. If separated from the cube for too long, they will start to experience negative effects. That's not the worst thing in the world. Oh, wait, we don't have the bionic arms anymore. Sorry, uh, sorry, chillings. Don't worry, we'll find weird things to put in your body eventually. Um, and we, do have a, we have a bionic leg. We could always give you the bliss lobotomy. We're not going to do that, but we, we could. Okay, so that's a new research... Here it is. Makes everyone in the region happier, but reduces their desire to work. Cube obsession. Well, that didn't take long. Building a stone sculpture. What the hell? Okay, that's interesting. She's going to build a sculpture to release the pressure growing in her mind. That's new. Uh, thanks for the psychic emanator, though. That's sick. Okay, uh... Let's see. Chillings, you haven't moved everything in yet. Go ahead and haul this Glitter World medicine right away. And then the Emanator will give us uh, good vibes. So the best place to have it is right here where the entire hospital and bedroom fit. Honestly, it might be possible to put it in a place that the whole, like, most of the colony could use it, like right here. Like one up from here would be great too. But honestly, for now, let's get the bedrooms, the bed and the hospital. Okay. Okay. What in the world are you making? Perrin, you're studying the cube? Thank you. Okay. It is advanced study, which doesn't surprise me. How are we doing on food? We're doing pretty good on food. We could use some more carnivore meals, theoretically. Fran has a good mood. Excellent. What kind of inspiration was it again? Creativity. Okay, well, there's what she made. Welcoming cube. It displays a distorted cube. At the face centers, a robed procession praises the cube. 
Huh. But it has a beauty of four. Okay. Um, well done. Raise the cube, I guess. We'll put it over here for now. It's fine. She, I don't think she's going to care where it goes. Core Hulk out. Yep, Core Hulk's getting out. Psy glitch. Come over here and do the needful. You know what you have to do. You just need the power to do it. And just step right in. Don't let it break down my door, please. That's right. Scream, you fool! Cool, thank you. Bale, when you're done doing the, uh... The whole grave visiting thing. You know, rip, uh... Dupla Bale. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, well, yeah, that kind of makes sense, I guess. There you go. Good stuff. I mean, maybe stop trying to break out. You won't need treatment all the time. You ever think of that? No, you didn't. That's why I keep getting hurt. Think, or Hulk, think. Cool. Now, anyone who steps in this area will get a little bit of a five. There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only good bug is a dead bug. Heck yeah. All right. Uh, somebody... Who is the least... Well, I guess everyone's busy right now. That's why they're doing work. So I was going to say who's the least busy, because I could use someone to clean this room. But like I said, everyone's kind of busy. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't know. We got... That's right. They're, they're, we're good. Are you making parkas now? I'm trying to click on what you're making. Yes, it's a parka. Okay, good. Love it. Love it. Want some more of it. We could really use some of it. Dare I even say. Oh, hey, we can steal some more uh, life time. So, did you get a second scar? Yes, it's down to five. Oh, man. Chronophagy. Chillings. Are we the baddies? Maybe. But we're having fun nonetheless. I'm gonna take some of this life out of you. And then I'm gonna grab another prisoner too. After you die of old age, but you're not gonna die yet. I know it's reducing moods, but I mean, what the heck, man? Uh, Fran's got that chemical starvation. It's not very great. I wish it got dealt with, but I didn't deal with it. In eight hours, we could do a uh, unnatural healing. The ritual is almost done, and I'm feeling it. All right. You're 59 years old now. Congrats. Also, your brain's almost dead. But look at Chilling. He's a risk young 15. Holy crap. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, that's actually not. Uh, I mean, he's technically an adult, but until he turns 18, he's actually going to have some reduced stats for a while. <laughs> oh, but still, damn. A major break risk on Maskinen. What's wrong with Maskinen? You're starving. Well, eat a food. Oh, you can't easily eat a food because you have food poisoning. I understand. Please stop yarking. Just stop yarking long enough to eat a food. There you go. Pfft, of course. Uh, dirty cooking area. Well, that must have been from a while ago, then. That must be some old food at this point. That's all I can imagine. I mean, it sucks. But, yeah. Alright, so, yeah, we got cube. It is... I guess we don't move it? Or anything? That we could... Yeah, we could put it somewhere, I guess. Uh... Here, let's... Uh, natural healing's available, by the way. It's pretty great. Here, uh, let's put a... I don't want to put it on a golden shelf, but maybe we'll make a silver shelf for it. There you go. A silver shelf for the golden cube. Here, we'll even put it under a roof area. There you go. Uh, yeah. There. And then the only thing that goes in here. Clear all. Cube. Wait, there's a regular cube and a golden cube. Do you suck the gold out of it? Mm, are we going to give it the suck? 
find out today. Oh my god. Yeah, there's too much walking going on. It, well, to be fair, it's the cat's fault. Yeah, that makes sense, actually. Chillings, clean the room if you're gonna cook. Okay. Yeah, and it doesn't help that we're, like, keeping the cats in here, you know? So, I, I get it, I get it. Masking in. Is your mood going up? It is. You're hungry. Are you recovering yet? No. Alright, Snipe, I need you to do unnatural healing on Fran. Okay. Her thumb was restored. Well, that's good. Still missing a finger, but, you know, what are you gonna do? Okay, we got Parkas. It's pretty great. Bailey you swapped out, man. You were looking good. But I guess it's April, May now. Happy 5504, everybody. Things are going all right. You know, we're uh, completely and utterly messing with this person here. Who, to be fair, you know, they weren't living a great existence either way. You know this. I know this. We all know this. Let's not pretend otherwise, okay? That's all I'm saying. That's all I am saying. All right. I mean, yeah, it looks like we have plenty of work to do right now. Maskin is in a better mood. Recovering from the food poisoning, that helps. Yeah, take care of that blood rot, please. How bad is it? 14. 14 on Tobias. 23 on Paulette. 13 on Sharp. And then Snaggletooth, 9. They're fine. 6.7 days. Okay. Party time! Bale says, hey, let's go party in the uh, PCS uh, break room. And everyone says, hey, why there? And, you know, Bale says, you know what? Because I want to. Proud wild boars. Well, who gave them pride? Hey, uh, Bale, can you, like, turn this light on real quick? Thank you. There you go. Now we can actually see what we're partying. Hey, you know what? We should have a recreation area over here. Um, we have so much electricity, I'm willing to bet. Yeah, we should just put a TV over here. There you go. And then a billiards table. Because nothing says, uh... Here, let's make out a slate, like everything else. <laughs> nothing says great workplace like uh, a billiards table. You know? Maybe paddle ball. That's the other one. Mm-hmm. They usually don't put poker tables in there. Something about encouraging gambling or something. No, the only thing you're gambling here is all your time away, so you can maybe have enough money to retire someday. How's that for a gamble? It's like Sooth, by the way. Bulk Goods Trader, by the way. Sharp Securities is here. All right, good for them. Chillings, you're not asleep. You're making kibble. Uh, that's a long walk. Why don't we go talk to the Bulk Goods Trader first? Hi, Bulk Goods Trader. How you doing? I can't sell these cats. Hey, we have kittens. Yo, we got a male and a female. Sweet. All right. Pigs. Huskies. If you want doggos, here they are. Um, it's tempting, but probably not a good idea. Well, I don't know. The wargs were fine, but no, no, no. I don't I don't need to put more animals in here. Let's see if we can buy all the components. To do that, we're going to need to sell stuff. There's a lot of berries in the colony, so I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to sell 150 of them. Uh, and then 215 potatoes. Because we have a lot of veggies all of a sudden. And maybe like 240 blue fur. Actually, no, we can sell more than that. 440 blue fur. Yeah. Some of these skins that we don't have enough of to really make worth it. Bear skin. Who doesn't want to make some nice clothing out of that? We really could use penicycline here soon. Hmm. Medicine. We have medicine. It's just not in the tradable area. I don't think we need more. Not right now. Not right now. Uh, let's see. We don't have tox gas researched yet. They have a cooking and mining book, a social book, a recreational book. We are not selling wood. We're not selling good clothing, probably, but we can sell some that are less good. Here's some normal pants. Here's some normal lab coats. Here's a poor... Uh, pants. I thought that was just my brain wanted to say shirt. It was not a shirt. Yeah. There you go. All that and you made some money. Cool. Alright. Yeah, feed that vegetarian fine meal, then haul in the advanced components, and then haul in the regular components. Okay. 
Many thank. And then you can go to bed. I mean, it's 4 a.m., so uh, you don't feel like it. You know what? Yeah, you have the sleep accelerator. It makes sense. All right. Look at that. New kittens. Gotta love it. Right now, they're in the cat zone. Eventually, I can free them. In fact, I'm gonna free them right now. Who cares? They can go. They can do whatever. Maybe keep them in the home area. But free them so they can go out here and eat meat. Maybe, if they feel like it. Uh, you know what? With the kibble... Go ahead and just drop it on the floor. Because honestly, it's not going to go bad anytime soon. Yeah, someone will move it. We got more muff. All right. Proud wild boars. Take care of three wild boars for 22 days. Why? With the animal thing. What do you think we are? A veterinary clinic? An animal hospital? Something? 6.2 days. So we actually, this will end before this expires. So I could let those get taken care of and then take care of the boars to get an armor skin gland, a bionic arm. It's actually some good stuff here. A locust armor. Ooh. Okay. They can jump for 20 chem fuel and jump up to five times. All right. Less protective than standard recon armor. Too bad that only comes with uranium. Because that could be really good otherwise. But uh, could also do it for goodwill. And it would be nice to have Western Hados as an ally. But I kind of want the armor skin gland. Can I put this in Psy or Glitch? It does lower their movement even more. And then a bionic arm. That's really good. Uh, why do we have eggs here? I think we had a corpse there formerly. A revenant spine? I don't know. I don't know things. I just pretend to. Okay. Captain, how you doing? By the way, I moved the cube over here. You can you can go check it out now if you want. It's not giving you Oh, there it is. Oh, oh I see. My beautiful sculpture. But it's a good thing I decided not to destroy it. Here, put it right here next to it. Okay. That's cool. Is there going to be a cube ritual? Why do I get the feeling there's going to be a cube ritual? Cube study process is done. Brain wipe. Ooh. Okay. Allows recruiting unwaveringly loyal prisoners. Uh, I guess pleasure pulse. Sure. Okay. Parents investigation of the golden cube is revealed more. It is psychic, able to psychically influence anyone who interacts with it. Those under the cube's influence will experience extreme withdrawal if they're separated from it. Perrin thinks there might be a way to deactivate the cube, but she will need to study it further. Okay. And that did not give her obsession with the cube somehow? I mean, I'm not complaining. I'm just like, based on the description you gave me, Perrin should have gotten some addiction to the cube. By the way, I was thinking about the Revenant thing. I don't like the Revenants, how, they're, how they do their thing. But the main thing, you know, most of it is you can get past it, all that good stuff. It's like something new you need to adjust to. It's not like world ending or anything like that. Thank you, Bale, for getting this done, by the way. But the one thing that bothers me the most is the fact that they can open doors. And on the one hand, I kind of get it, because otherwise they'd just go invisible in this... <sighs> Dang it. they go invisible in this room, and then you just have to take care of it. Um, by never being able to find them, unless you studied them enough to be able to find them. But what if you just... You know, there's plenty of mods that lock rooms. Why don't you just finally put room locking into RimWorld? You know? How would you, how would you do that? You might be asking. I have an idea. I have a plan. You know, make it so you can lock the doors. Easy enough, right? The problem with the modded ones is that you lock the doors and then nobody can use it. And you unlock it and, you know, it's it's instant. You click lock, it's locked. You click unlock, it's instantly unlocked and anyone can use it again. What if you just made it so that you could go over here, click a little button down here that says lock or unlock... Kind of like the door open, but this does the opposite function. But if you choose to lock the door, someone has to haul their pretty little ass over to the door and then lock it. And then nobody can open or close the door. But then you click unlock and then someone has to walk their pretty little ass over there again and unlock the door before anyone else is able to open it. Make both of them a manual process, just like toggling power on and off. You know, I do this, you put a little icon over here, it's not turned off until someone walks over here and turns it off. And then nobody can use it until someone walks over and turns it back on. Do the same thing with doors. That's all I'm proposing. 
because it'll make it so that you know you could lock the door over there you could lock this the revenant's stuck in there but um you have to walk someone over there to physically unlock it as well and you have to remember to actually press the unlock button to make it happen but if you lock the door and lock the revenant in the room you can't go in there and study the revenant because the door's locked you have to manually go in there click the unlock button make someone go over there unlock the door study the revenant make them walk out and then click the lock button again it's micromanagement yes but i think it would make this whole deal a little bit more interactable and a little bit more dynamic just an idea just an idea it might be a terrible idea in fact it's probably stupid but i came up with it so i'm the stupid one you could lob all your stupidity at me this room is still filthy but that's because we all have stuff to do i get it i get it uh at least this is empty now yeah we've done something with all this food over here uh once again you know we have a lot of food that seems to happen a lot to me we could take another person now i mean it just puts them in a coma but you think that bad all things considered i kind of want to try psychophagy followed up by uh Followed up by, I don't know what to do with this person. But, you know, then the skip ritual. Maybe they'll be on a, a coma for a very short time. Just to see what happens. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Anyway, everyone's up. Free. Go ahead and psychophage. We're going to steal Slicer's brain. 101 days. Hot diggity. All right, come over here. Slice is probably like, no, 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 no. And we're like, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, the, uh, we got another pregnant cat. All right. Ooh, getting that ritual done. And we're still around 200 of the bio fair, right? And we got more in these little containers. And that's not good. That's actually really bad. Where is this cougar? Oh, well, frick. We're fine. So I can take on a cougar. Are you just going for a walk? Yes. Well, good thing you're well protected. Slap him. Askin's like, oh crap! It's alright, alright. You're gonna be fine now. Yeah, da, da, da. Thanks for the free meat. Oh, there's another one here, too. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and get that one, too. Come on over. Alright. Sai, so, let's go ahead and start at range. Uh, a little bit closer. <laughs> okay, start at range. Give him the old spit. Right there. Get yarked on, son. Get him. Oh, yeah. Nothing takes him down like a good yarkin. Uh, please beat it up. There we go. Problem solved. No more predators on the map. We're free to hunt like crazy. Hey, there's yaks. Yo, get these yaks. All right. And Dunzo Sunzo. She did. <laughs> Psychically incinerated. Person's presence has been consumed and burned away, leaving them cut off from psychic phenomena. Just because their brain is literally dead. Uh, okay, two years of 50% psychic sensitivity. Does, does that did that hurt everyone's mood? Uh, insulted. Innocent prisoner died. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. Someone was... That counts as both an execution as well. Chillings doesn't care, of course. Uh, Chillings just does not give a damn. Everyone else does. Thankfully, the Psychic Soothe is going to help us out a little bit. Time to feed the trees! There you go. We should probably, uh, feed the trees up above now. There we go. Yeah. We'll go ahead and take out this tree and this tree. There we go. No huge rush, but, you know. Okay. Skip abduction. 5.8. And 2.1 days. Yeah, they'll be down for a very small amount of time now. He's like, dang it, again? I just did this. But all right, fine. Let's do it again. We'll go steal someone from the yonder. We have a yak. And then I should probably let these guys do normal things for a while. 
Ta-da! Yoink! Hello! El boyo! From the Beals? How you doing? You're at least... Hey, you got a bite scar. That hurts. Ooh, loves plant work. Kind, artistic, mining, and Neanderthal. All right. Uh, Perrin, what are you doing? You're going to go eat? Uh, go ahead and capture this person real quick. Ooh, not unwaveringly loyal. Convert them. Heck yeah, even better. Free colonist. Are all the beds full? Uh, yes. So we'll need another bed. That can happen. Probably. In fact, it definitely can. What if I just move Chilling's meditation spot to be over here and then move this chicken statue <laughs> uh, right here? And then I can put another statue right here later. That works for now. All right. Cassie's being uh, pretty kind to us right now. The Arco Nexus. Mm hmm. Western Halos is like, hey, if you can get your wealth over 350,000 and uh, ally with us, we'll do the Our Arco Nexus thing. I don't care about the Arco Nexus thing, to be honest with you. How good was this table? Ooh, it's excellent. Nice. This is a somewhat impressive break room. Very nice. Very nice. Well done, lads. Kathy is doing some late night work. Always appreciated. Ooh, late night cleaning. Let's go. Beautiful. How much longer? 4.5 days. I'll tell you, these cats take forever. Ooh. Ooh, wow. That's a lot of that's a lot of yak beef. And some plain leather. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, so gotta get the beds done. Um, well, I was thinking of using some of this stuff, but uh, so it will. Get, this gives a coma, but it doesn't scar them. Ooh, that's great if true. It does take a shard, which is not cheap. Plus, we don't have any right this second. So actually, we need to do something to get some shards. Doesn't skip abduction take a shard? No, that's biofarite. Didn't one of these take a shard? Ah, the Philophagy. Philophagy. That one wasn't really worth doing, to be honest. Chronophagy's worth doing. That's that's fantastic. <laughs> but uh Hey, getting some wood, nice. Could always use that, even though we have a lot of it right now. Oh my goodness, this room is clean-ish. I love it. I love it a lot. You, uh, medicine, food, paste. Okay. So in theory, someone should just grab some paste and give it to them. And that's just how it's going to work. All preferred xenotypes. Wait, what do you believe in? What's your current belief? The flock. Human primacy, animal personhood. I didn't know you could have those together. Huh. All right. Darkness. So they disapprove of bonding with animals, but they approve of having a strong connection with them. What? All right, whatever. Whatever you say, okay? I'm not here to, you know, say it's right or wrong, just that it's weird. And it can be weird, you know. It's not illegal to be weird, I don't think. Hey, right, we still have plenty of kibble. We have plenty of hay. Yeah, we have a good amount of hay. How are we doing on plasteel? 300. It's coming, baby. It's going up. How are we doing on uh, advanced components? Did I research advanced? Are we re researching that right now? Oh, we are. Advanced fab. Okay, it's getting done. And then we can make more if we need to. But we have 15 right now. We could do stuff with that, you know. I'm just saying. Yeah, I don't want to ghoul infuse anyone right now, to be honest with you. But yeah, we could make a second bionic leg, I guess. Put them both in, uh, in chillings, let them go fast. 
see how that works out for us. Wait, does he already have... Uh, well, he has the Brain Link, which does not count as an artificial enhancement. So, you know, maybe we'll give him that. How long do these last? Four days? Four days. Neuro Supercharge lasts until you, you actually get it. The guilt's going to go away soon, though. Hmm, maybe that's an area where we can change our ideologian. Upgraded a bit. We could try a conversion ritual on Bree. 69% quality. Nice. Or Vastilla, but the 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 quality is going to be the same either way. And I would rather convert Bree if possible. Problem is, we'd require like 100%. Ooh, advanced fab is done. Let's go ahead and research. Uh, marine armor. Better armor sounds good. Hey, there's a pod. It sprouted. Check it. Uh, don't cut it. Harvest it. Thank you. Okay, so now we can officially make advanced components if we have to. We don't yet, but they're not cheap either. 20 steel, 10 plasteel. We do have all the stuff we need for it. The gold would be the hardest, but we have 100 advanced components worth of gold. So it sure as heck is not impossible. Looks like Snipe, ye of uh, many crafts, is crafting today. Three days for these cats. There you go. There's your, uh, there's your nutrient paste meal. Enjoy. I mean, yeah, they don't like it. Disgusting, tasteless meal. I know it keeps you alive. But no one wants to swallow that glob. Well, that glob is the most efficient food we got, so that's what you're eating. All right. You want less efficient food? Then join us. That's all you gotta do. That's all you gotta do. One of us. One of us. Play some pool. Have some fun. You know you want to, baby. All right, get some research. Do we need to research these guys? I mean, we don't need to. No, no, no. Let's stop researching these guys. Maintain. 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 Okay, we don't need to research those guys at all. We need to research Cube. This is the only thing we have to research. Well, I mean the uh, monolith itself. We only need one more advanced anomaly to evolve the monolith, and then we'll all be sons of guns, won't we? Oh boy, we can steal some more, uh, steal some more age. If you're feeling it. Dude, the ability to steal colonists is nuts. Bionic leg is done. That didn't take long. All right. Well, here's open. Let's put it in the order. Okay, we only have one person who does uh, doctoring at a high confidence level. Go ahead and jump into this bed. This is the best one we got. Okay, and then Vastilla. Yep. It's your job. Oh, we have uh, we have glitter roll medicine. This should be guaranteed. Theoretically. Surgery success chance is 90%. With the glitter roll medicine, this should be as close to guaranteed as you can get. Technically, because Tynan hates you, uh, there is like a capped 90 something percent chance. It's like a very high night, like 96 or 98 percent chance of a surgery being successful. It cannot go to 100%. So no matter how much you over prepare, He's still my goof it. Well, it's more like real life. I'm not playing this game for real life. I mean, I'm playing it in real life, but I'm not playing it to mimic real life. If I wanted to do that, I would turn off this computer, go turn on my work computer and go talk to people for eight hours a day, which I have to do anyway. <laughs> but that's not here nor there, I guess. What's here and there is that Chillings will now be at the speed of uh, wow. Uh, how did you die from blood rot? <sighs> we must not have, uh, well, that's not good. Um, maybe, well, wait, can, is, is it fine to just hold the phone? Any remaining cats will now leave. All right, didn't chop them up. <laughs> I mean, if it's over, it's over. We lost out on an architect arm because of that, but that's okay. It's, you know, it's it's very efficient arm. It's great, but honestly, I'm not. It's not that big a deal. 
It really isn't. We can pretend it is, but it really isn't that big of a deal. All right. I wait for that uh, anesthesia to wear off. But yeah, now we can just, you know, these ones can just die, I guess. <laughs> I didn't even reel. Oh, Rick. That's not that big a deal. As long as someone comes over here and puts out the actual fire. That would be nice. Uh, well, actually, no, you'll be fine. Yeah, you'll be fine. Cool. Temperature will go down on its own. Uh, it took out the, took out the light in here. I'm gonna replace that if you could. Believe it or not, the light. Ray flesh. What? Fran has discovered a strip of fleshy tissue. It resembles human skin, stained gray by tiny metallic particles. It must have come off someone during flesh liquefaction. Someone here may not be what they seem. There are several ways to detect imposters. Well, at least this will get us another thing. Interrogate prisoner interaction mode is now unlocked. Imprison someone and send a warden to interrogate them about their true identity. This can take many days. Collect more flesh and analyze it to determine the biosignature of the threat. Then use surgical inspection to search for that biosignature. Could take a long time to collect enough samples and the surgery is invasive. Execute or banish whoever you suspect. Some parasites can control the mind and may even be transmitted to others. Great. Uh, Perrin, analyze this. Okay, Mortflux V4, great. Till then, your surgical inspections will not detect it. We need more samples. Okay, well, you're the newest one of the colony, technically, so you would be of uh, initial suspicion. Fran's the one who discovered it, which would also theoretically make Fran suspicious. All right, more BS from Cassie. Okay. Well, we'll have to figure it out. Hey, we got chicks. They got done up. Okay. Let's see. Kittens? How you doing? Is, this, is it one of the kittens? That'd be funny. Probably not, but it'd be funny. Okay, so Chillings has yeah, maximum movement again. Very nice, very nice. Now you can get to places and do things. Okay. I kind of wanted to do the conversion ritual. 69%. 69% of the time, it works every time. Of course. Of course, right when I'm in the middle of the freaking ritual. I mean, they're turkeys. <laughs> they're not going to be that tough. But still. I had to keep everyone in the home area for now. Oh, and a drone! Yeah, no, no, no. Screw you too, Cassie. God dang, man. Why does it come in threes like that? Honestly thought that was going to suck. It was effective, but not not great, to be honest with you. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and block off the area here. Okay. That should be all it takes. You know, as soon as something feels like doing that. Does that count as home area? No. It's fine. Uh, Captheas, you work. You do construction. Go ahead and uh, build this real quick. Also a night owl. That helps. Okay. Well, I guess we have a skinwalker to find. Isn't that great? Well, we're going to start looking for him next time. Here on that plays uh, Rim World Anomaly. If you enjoyed it, make sure to let me know by giving it a like. If you feel free to subscribe to us some more, because it'll keep going on stop till it does, and then it probably will. Thanks again for watching this episode of Rim World Anomaly. Uh, hey, can we... In yeah, we can interrogate. Interrogate this person. Okay. We'll see how that goes. If you enjoyed it, like I said, give it a like. Until next time, thanks for watching. My name is Thet, and I'll see you in the next video them turkeys though everybody owes yo